check it out. Got a new beanie, courtesy of Miss Teriana. Links in the sidebar. You should go check her out. What? Yeah, it's still orange. It's how I roll, motherfucker. It was yesterday. I was sitting in class, doing arts and crafts, eyeballing the kid next to me, eating glue. And it's not because I think he's weird, but it's because that little bastard is actually starting to make me wonder if the glue tastes good. And that's when it happens. Good job, Tim. That is such an excellent picture of Santa. You could be an artist someday. Problem is, Tim's macaroni and glitter picture of Santa is something like a cross between a cat vomiting on paper and a monkey with Alzheimer's trying to recreate the Mona Lisa. And to this day, I still wonder if good old Tim thinks he can draw. The problem with this and any other example I could ever give you is that not everyone can do everything. I mean, if that were true, we'd all have the highest paying jobs, be porn stars in the sack, be great at every sport ever created. We'd generally be good at everything. Sadly, it's not realistic, and it never will be. But to make people believe that it is at an early age, it only hinders their growth into adulthood. Don't get me wrong. I can understand how praising somebody makes you feel like a better person. Lavishing praise tends to make people feel better about themselves by proxy. What I mean by that is that you see that you've made a child, coworker, or what have you, feel good. And in turn, those good feelings are reflected to you because you've, quote, done a good deed. When you do this, however, it's just a purely selfish motivation. You're not thinking about the child's future. Children who are overpraised usually end up requiring validation as adults. Instead of working for their own personal satisfaction, they tend to work for the praise that they've come to actually expect. And these people are usually downtrodden and depressed when they don't receive that validation that they're used to. Confusing, right? To not know yourself that you're doing a good job just because somebody doesn't feel the need to constantly praise and validate everything you do. Honestly, constant praise, to me, gets really tiring. It doesn't mean that I don't care or that I'm not proud of somebody. It simply means that in my mind you need to be working on your own personal satisfaction, your own confidence, instead of relying on others what you can basically provide for yourself. And if a person can realize these things, a lot of new doors might open up. The lesson learned here, if little Timmy does an outstanding job on something that's highly difficult for his age range, by all means, praise him. He deserves it. Read a tale of two cities while you're in elementary school? Give this child a trophy. If that same little Timmy receives praise for being able to make poopy, at age nine. Just don't do it. Good God, just let it go. That is how people snap and go postal in public places when they reach adulthood. Hey, check it out. I just finished editing the sports section. You wanna, you wanna take a look at it? Uh, yeah. That's, that's your job. It's in your job description. Was there anything else? But didn't I, didn't I do a good job? Just get back to work. I'll kill you. What? Nothing. I'm, I'm just gonna go back to work. I'm sure that's happened at some point. Thank you.